I think it, it's because if, if you're a good footballer and you'll end up going to the Premier League in England, whereas rugby is them boys are the celebrities back home, you know, that's the one everyone follows their province and that's why they really get behind them. So they are they have massive vocal sport and away games and then they ramp it up another level at home, so it'll be a good atmosphere. Yeah. yeah, I completely agree with Irish. 100%. <laughs> <laughs> I've got, me personally, I've got really, I don't think I've played anybody. I've played um, Connor in like a warm-up game, that's the only time I've played. Let's do it away? I've played Let's Let's yeah, That's right. Um, yeah, I can cover obviously is the, is, the, is the only time we really get to see um, Irish teams play. They, they've got really good rugby sides. All of them are really tough sides. Even Connor do not um, don't really often win, win cups. They're really tough sides to play as well. So um, I've not played against um, Ulster. Uh, I was injured last time I played them, but they do they do this simple thing very well. They're very hard working teams and. Um, they're very tough to beat, and, and the people at home are passionate, so which makes it tough to go to. So it's, it'll be a big challenge for us. So to what? Uh, I suppose because, because it's provincial, you're, a lot of players will come from the team they're playing for. Same with the fans. I mean, it'll be all a lot of the Ulster boys that have grown up in Belfast and at school there. They'll, their families and everyone, they, everything's around rugby, so it'll be uh, they'll be fired up by and all that stuff. Mm -hmm. Yeah, just go back. I think it's going to be an awesome atmosphere. Uh, I played at the old grounds. I played there a few times and it was a great place, always a good atmosphere. We normally played it on a, on a Friday night, now it's got a new place, I think it's even bigger. So it's, uh, it's, it's exciting. And uh, apparently 2,500 people are coming from Saracen, so it's great that we can get a couple of people from our, from our home to come support us, a couple of Saracen supporters, so um, I hope the 2,500 make a massive amount of noise. I think the way we are going to challenge for them. 18,000 be 2,500. I think we can, we can pull off a. a Backers. Yeah. But I think it's, it's, like, it's like David and Goliath. You know what I mean? That's the thing. Yeah. <laughs> that's, that's the thing. We've got a catch up. shot. We've got a catch up. You know what I mean? So we're all right. We're all right. We'll do it. Now it's exciting times. I think um, this game is going to be massive. Obviously, the team, if we win, we get our home semi final, you know, which is massive for us. But it's going to be a massive challenge itself just playing a playing quarter final for. Ulster, so looking forward to it. I think they've had a great training week, um, like, I'm sure, like I'm sure they have had as well. And they've been, they'll be confident, you know, but so are we. So we're gonna, it's gonna be an hell of a battle. I think it's gonna be a, it's gonna be a very good match to watch. And um, uh, whatever happens on the day, I'm, I'm sure the boys will give their absolutely everything. So, so finally, uh, an English club hasn't won the Mountain Cup since 2007, since then it's been dominated by the French and Irish teams. Obviously, this is the sort of the last time the Cup. Yeah, I think it's great, and obviously it's a good thing for the for the league. Uh, but saying that, you know, uh, you know, we're just looking at ourselves. You know, we would love to win it, but uh, we're aware that we've got three three huge challenges in front of us. Um, and a focus right now just on the first one on uh, Saturday night.